face for. You don't really, really wanna hear the fake noise. What you talking about? Please. I forgot for Captain she never see me. Why my name in your mouth? You wanna be me? Tapped ahead by Brooks. Goal wire runs it down, and it's Duke ball. There are so many big plays by Trey Jones in the last few minutes. Driving on Anthony, gets it to go. Well, Duke with that five-out offense. They are spreading out North Carolina, and they are just driving. And it's too, it's too long of help, especially for the Carolina big guys. How about this, Jay? The first lead for the Blue Devils since it was 4-3, to three, and now Moore swiped Brooks across the face, and Moore is called for the foul. Those who pats Brooks on the back didn't mean to do it. Now Brooks, after getting hit in the face, has to step to the free throw line. Brooks wants a towel, and it's Roy Williams who's taking it out to him. And will Brooks be okay to shoot these free throws? A poke right in the eye at that point. If Brooks can't shoot the free throws, this was a common foul that Mike Krzyzewski chooses from one of the other four players on the floor at the time. Pierce is coming in. Coach K chooses from somebody else who was in the game at the time. I, I think this is the dumbest rule on the planet. The, the opposing coach should never make a decision about the opponent, opposing team, ever. They can choose this. This is a dumb rule. It's a dumb rule. It's different if it's a flagrant foul that Roy Williams would get the choice, but I agree with you. In the sense of it, in a common foul, Mike Krzyzewski gets the choice. Not anybody on the bench like the rule used to be. used to be worse. Anybody in the game, Baycott knocks down. Boy, Jones is just in takeover mm -hmm. mode right now, isn't he? And he is a big time player. And it has been mano a mano with Cole Anthony. But it's been the smaller lineup of Duke that's been able to spread out North Carolina on the defensive end. The screen for the screener action, Duke switching. Jones with a steal. And a foul. Hero. It's Leaky Black, and he has fouled out of the game. Jones not getting up yet. What a night for Leaky Black. Meanwhile, there are other issues for Carolina. Let's go to Holly. Well, guys, they have just sent people back to the locker room to try to get Keeling to come out. Keeling was taken to the locker room just after we went to overtime. He has not returned. Garrison Brooks just went back to get his eyes checked. And so now they've got to get someone back out on this court. Here comes Keeling. They've got to back out because of that foul up. They've got to have another player in the game. So Black is out. Keeling's coming back in. Brooks has gone to the locker room. And Roy Williams is just trying to find five healthy, eligible players to put in the game. Well, with everything that has gone wrong for Carolina this year, with all the losses that they have suffered, this one you would think would sting more than any other one if they go on to lose this game. Given how well they played for, take your choice, 36, 37 minutes, but now oh, it's, it's due with it's Jones it's having it's scored it's the Blue Devils' it's last 15 points. Play in by Anthony. Three-point game. A terrific drive by Paul Anthony and an answer for North Carolina to get into a one-possession game. But it's really about getting a stop. Jones again. Not this time. Mm -hmm. Well, not his best shot. And perhaps should have given the ball up or tried to get it all the way to the rim. I don't think you have to settle for a jumper right now. Mm-hmm. time off the floor. For Duke with Carey having fouled out some of the other bigger guys on the bench. Relatively small lineup for North Carolina. But there's some books out there. Mm. And it goes for Anthony to bring him back within one. How about this battle between Cole Anthony and Trey Jones? Moore into the chest of Baycott 
who has fouled out of the game. Damn. And now what does Roy Williams do? Well, that was offense-initiated contact, but I thought Baycott might have pulled his arm down a little bit. Mondo Baycott has. That's the list. That's the rough again now that he went right into him. Hmm? Look at all the players. Mm -hmm. This is a smart play by Wendell Moore. But Baycott also had his left yeah, arm on his back, which could have been the reason. Brooks injured, Leaky Black out, and Walker Miller is back into the game, playing two minutes at the end of the first half, because of foul trouble on the other end's head. Let's talk about a makeshift lineup for North Carolina. Well, he can't foul Trey Jones either. He's talking to Roy Williams right now. And he's going to the scorer's table. Let's check oh, left. Oh, and ties the game. Oh, left him. Oh, left him. Oh, a terrific jump stop. Mm -hmm. What a game. Both teams are in so much fight. Stanley spins. That's a good move. Follow no. Goldwater was right there for the stick back, just couldn't get it to go. Anthony. Good, good, good. Great try. driving dish by Cole Anthony. Just can't stay in front of him. And how about the trust in his teammate, Walker Miller, for Cole Anthony to give that ball up, just drop it off under the bucket. Miller trying to get to the front of the rim on the drive. Mm hmm. I wouldn't have done foul because I mean he got to make both free throws. Walker Miller will go to the line. How about Carolina fighting back to take the lead? We're down by five here in overtime. Up by one. Still got two and a half to go. North Carolina going with a 2 3 zone. Trying to keep Duke out of the lane, see if he can make him prove it over the top. But Duke can still drive the gaps of the zone. Goldwire baseline. Mm. Too strong. To a bunk there. That's bucket. And another oh, rebound for Anthony. He's 11th on the night. Oh, sweet. Yeah, how did it by Goldwire? Goldwire, an excellent defender, one of the top steals guys in the ACC, especially given the amount of minutes he plays. It's a lot on that left side. He's got four fouls. Good pass. Pierce. It's a fadeaway. And it's out of bounds to Carolina. He's like, come on. Yeah, they're going to take a look at this to see How old is he? whether the ball went off he Carolina old. or Duke. O'Connell was complaining. About 10 years younger than Jesus. Huh? Yeah, about 10 so years younger than Jesus. Because at worst, you get a rest. I think it's going to be off O'Connell. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Blaychek made contact with it, but you can see it's still on O'Connell's palm mm -hmm. long after that. Mm -hmm. What a night. Unranked, struggling, under 500 Carolina, coming in as decided underdogs against the number seven ranked team of the nation. And they get something to Brooks in size. He's got a size advantage on Moore. Got to get it in. Stolen away by Baker. Mm -hmm. Just a really poor job by North Carolina. Great play by Duke to steal it. You have to expect a out of bounds Kick it. Very tough shot. Ooh. Right the big thing. Everybody want a second base. 
No box out. No bully ball. Ooh. Kick it. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't I don't agree with this at all. 
That's a good foul. That's a foul. Yeah. Wow. That's hard to imagine. That's football. That you wouldn't make that call. And wow, they are reviewing again. But what they are reviewing is who knocked it out of bounds. Yes, they 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 cannot review that foul. But hopefully they're not beating themselves up when we're missing a call because they missed a call. That's a bad miss. They miss. In the hands of Playtech initially, the swipe by Moore. It's like a jump ball. That is a bad no call. But the situation the referees have right now is they can't do anything about the, the call that they just missed. Nope. They have to they have to call this appropriately. And they called it Duke Ball. I don't see anything there that makes it clear and convincing that it should be overturned. Indisputable video evidence. I don't see it. So there's not a good video. Evidently, have seen the same looks that we have shown you at home, and now the decision's got to be rendered. And again, television does not show, ESPN does not show the officials. This is a company called DB Sport, right? So they may take on pictures, but they're the ones that go out the looks that the referees see and what the referees may ask for. Good ball. Jones to inbound, neither team with a timeout. It's the last possession. He works back to Jones. He has been the man down the stretch. And he mm. got fouled. Not sure whether it was Playtech or Keelan. Looks like it's Keelan. The Playtech was there. It looked like he got him on the arm as well. Dang. If you would have made that layup, that would have been great. Ray Jones just puts his head down, goes right into the chest of Christian Keelan. Boy, when Vernon Carey fouled out of the game for the Blue Devils, Trey Jones just took over from a Duke perspective. Yeah, tough call for North is moving to maintain it. Really. A huge free throw. What a gigantic second half in overtime mm -hmm. Trey Jones mm -hmm. has had in this game. And again, make or miss your can One more. get the ball to Anthony, the guy they want to have it. He's going to race points. it down the court. Wow. Shoot it. <laughs> wow. Wow. He did get it off. Oh my god. And a little bit of going to the rim and banking it home. Did he get it in time? Usually it is close. Of course he got it in time. That was so easy to say. Duke taps it out. Wow. Able to get a hold of the ball. Kobe. And Wendell Moore right there to be able to put in that miss. Just an amazing game. Absolutely amazing. I knew it was hilarious. Great job by Wendell Moore to tap it out, and then Coldwire gets it to Jones. Tough shot, but nobody turned to block out Wendell Moore. There's no yeah, that's good. Quite an amazing finish, not only to regulation, but overtime. He almost ran out of bounds. Both at the end of regulation, at the end of overtime, at the free throw. Kobe. Just remarkable. Wendell Moore with an enormous play with about half a second to go, banks it home for the Blue Devils. He rallied late in regulation, blew a lead in overtime, fought back in overtime, got the benefit of a no call, <laughs> and even after a Jones, broken play, 
found a way to make a little champagne there. Win this game in a great victory for them. Wow. Just a gut wrenching defeat, Jay, for the North you Carolina Target. Just tremendous Kansas fight team. shown by both teams when they were on the deck. They got out every time. Trey Jones, he stuck to the line at the end of regulation. It's hard to miss a free throw and execute like that to tie the game. How were you able to do that? Uh, honestly, me and Coach Shire have talked about that exact moment. He told me it's probably best to take a couple steps to the right, so I ricochets. And in practicing it, I felt like it comes out to the same spot every time. So, I mean, just preparation. I feel like God just watching up for me. You stepped to the free throw line again with six seconds Kobe. left, able to tie the game. Tell us how you finished so strong in this rivalry moment. Um, I mean, just trust on my work. Uh, that's really it. I feel like we didn't have our best game tonight, but we we continue to fight until until the clock hits zero, and that it, it took that entire time for us to get the win tonight. So, I mean, the way we were just able to fight, we were down in double digits late in the game. Uh, didn't show any weaknesses. Everyone was still strong. Continued to fight. Coaches believed in us. We just got it done. There was a moment you took over this game. 15 straight points at one point for you, Trey. What was going through your mind as you took over? Tyus Stones. Uh, he's been in the same moment before. Uh, he did He did greater things than that. So, uh, shout out Big Bro. I know he's watching back home or wherever he is right now. Uh, just trying to be like Big Bro. You wore that tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, no.